welcome along to today's how-to guide and it's a short and simple one today for you about your windscreen wipers now the E39 was fitted with a strange design of windscreen wiper setup which won't allow you to use a conventional flat wiper blade replacement as the manufacturer's wiper arm uses these silly clips so you need to get a special flat wiper with said clips built in. Now these wipers aren't cheap, coming around about £20 a pair and once you've had some good use out of them and they start squeaking and juddering as invariably wipers do, then you want to replace them. Gets expensive. So the next best option is to replace the blade insert inside the flat wiper housing and we'll show you how to do that now. To replace the wiper insert inside the housing very very easy to do and we will start by removing the end caps a bit of gentle persuasion with a screwdriver and they'll pop off taking care not to damage them. Slide off the housing trim and do the same for the other side. And once you've done that you'll be able to see how the wiper blade is held in with the metal spring arms. So separate the blade from the spring arms and your old blade, simply pull it out. As it's defective and won't be reusing it. And then once you've done that you can twist the metal spring arms out from the wiper arm mounting trim. Now that you've separated it all, you can get your brand new wiper blade and match it with your old one, size-wise. And then you can trim it down to length using a Stanley blade. So make sure that when you do this you cut the blade to the exact size as anything under you like likely to have metal on your windscreen dragging across when you use your wipers anything over and the blade won't fit in correctly and use a nice sharp Stanley blade and that will allow you to cut your replacement wiper blade to length ready for fitment once you've done that, you will need to assemble the wiper blade onto the spring arms and it's simply a case of slotting the spring arm into the wiper blade and ensuring it's fully seated along its length on one side. and then we'll do the same for the other side and we'll come back once all that's back together. Once you've got the spring arm back in the blade or the blade inside both pieces of the spring arm make sure that the blade is fully seated all the way along its length then we'll need to put back on the wiper trim bracket and to do that can be quite fiddly but if you insert it at a slight angle on one side and push it all the way in then use a pair of pump pliers to gently squeeze but ensure that it doesn't twist as it'll jump out and when you squeeze in it it will compress the spring arms into the wiper and allow you to put 
the spring arms into the grooves inside the bracket. It's a bit fiddly as you can see and it might take a couple of goes so we'll come back once we've done that. Once we've got the clip back on then you can refit the trim pieces. Simply slide them back over the metal springs make sure that you've put the correct one in the correct place if for a differing length they should be equal but it's always worth checking and then you can refit the end caps and they simply slide onto the end make sure that the trim's covered then that is your windscreen wiper blade ready to refit back to your car Make sure the blade hasn't picked up any dust or contamination from where you've been working. That might scratch your windscreen. Do the same for the other blade. And that is how to save yourself around about 15 quid on your wiper blades. And you can change the infills as many times as you like whilst reusing the same, same blade frame. So I hope that's uh, of some help for you and thank you for watching, subscribe to me for videos and keep in touch for more updates as they come, thank you very much.